This video is part of the e-learning series Expansion of Mesenchymal Stem Cells in Stirred Single-Use Bioreactors, specifically cells derived from human adipose tissue and generally referred to as MSCs. In this section, we focus on quality control of expanded HMSCs in accordance with the ISCT and the IFATS position paper. After the expansion of the HMSCs in the universal SU 2 liter bioreactor, the quality of the cells needs to be checked. For this purpose, the International Society for Cellular Therapy, ISCT for short, and the International Federation for Adipose Therapeutics and Science, IFATS, have defined minimum criteria for cell characterization. As a first criterion, the cells have to be plastic adherent if they are reseeded into a plastic cultivation system and cultivated under standard cultivation conditions. Secondly, the cells must express a set of specific positive surface markers. In addition, the cells should not express lineage-specific markers. And thirdly, differentiation studies and analysis of lineage-specific gene or protein biomarkers need to be performed in order to demonstrate the differentiation ability of the cells. But let's go through each point one by one. Due to the fact that human adipose tissue-derived stem cells are characterized as adherent growing cells, the cells should adhere to a plastic surface after being harvested from the microcarriers. For this purpose, the HMSCs can be reseeded in a standard tea flask. During cultivation of the cells in the planar system, cell adherence and cell growth need to be reported over three and a half and seven days or longer. The cells should have a fibroblast-like morphology. Changes in the morphology of the cells indicate a possible differentiation. As previously mentioned, the human adipose tissue-derived stem cells can be characterized by a set of specific surface antigens, so-called clusters of differentiation, which can be analyzed by FACS. For this purpose, fluorescence-labeled antibodies specific to the surface antigens are used. These antibodies bind to the surface structure. The primary stable surface markers for mesenchymal stem cells involve CD13, CD29, CD44, CD73, CD90, and CD105. More than 80% of the cell population should be positive for these surface markers. The primary negative markers are CD31, CD45, and CD235. The percentage of positive cells in the populations for these markers should be below 2%. If higher, this indicates changes in the cell population. In addition to the primary markers, secondary positive and negative surface markers can be used. However, the grade of expression of these markers is lower than that of the primary ones. In addition to the reseeding studies in the FACS analysis, adipogenic, chondrogenic and osteogenic differentiation should be performed under control conditions in order to demonstrate the differentiation ability of the cells. For this purpose, specific differentiation media for adipogenic, chondrogenic and osteogenic differentiation can be used. After the adipogenic differentiation, lipids should be stained with nail red or histologically stained with oil red. Beside the histochemical analysis, different types of biomarkers such as adiponectin, FABP4, etc. can be analyzed. For chondrogenic differentiation, chondrocytes can be stained with alcyon blue or saffron and O. A very commonly used biomarker for chondrocytes is the analysis of collagen type 2. For the staining of osteocytes, elitsarin red or foncosa are commonly used histochemical methods. If all of the three criteria are met, it can be assumed that during cultivation in the universal SU 2 liter bioreactor, the cells have maintained their stem cell properties. Click replay to watch this video again or follow the links to the other videos.